Now to a horrifying story that is getting a lot of attention this morning. A 17-year-old Formula 3 race car driver surviving a terrifying crash after losing control of her car at a race in China this weekend. Mark Boyle now joining us. So, Mark, the video, it really is horrifying. You can see her car go airborne. It's like a rocket ship. Wow. Just flies off the track right there. She's 17 years old. Her name is Sophia Flores. She was traveling at... 167 miles an hour. Do you see that? Is that's incredible. I want to show you over here again. Take a look. It's going to come right here in the bottom of the screen. Let's see as the cars come around. Here it comes. Look this direction right here. And the car just launches Whoa. over wow. and slams into that purple fencing. And behind that purple fencing was the media tent. That's where all the folks taking photos and videos were. I'm going to step out of the way. We're going to slow this down here and show it to you again. She was wow. coming around the corner. According to some of the witnesses, her car actually may have touched or clipped another vehicle that was there in the race there in Macau. And that may have been what it was that forced her to lose control going 167 miles an hour. Again, you'll see it here in just a second. She was 17 years old. And believe it or not, she only suffered a spinal injury and a spinal fracture. She was rushed to the hospital. There it is oh again. Gosh. Let's switch now to this tweet to show you she's okay. This was a tweet she sent out uh, just a short time ago saying, just wanted to let everyone know that I am fine, but will be going into surgery tomorrow morning. That's Monday morning today. She thanked everyone involved and thanks for everyone for supporting her. Certainly a very resilient young woman right there. Can you guys imagine being there and seeing that? I mean, I think anyone would believe that she would not survive a crash like that launching over all of those vehicles and into the, the that media pit. You actually have to watch it a couple of times because you miss right. it the it's first so time fast. or two. And a spinal fracture, that, a spinal fracture, that's all that she suffered. Quite incredible. To, I wonder if to, she'll be able to get back in the car after something like that Well, happened. the race officials posted uh, a press release saying that she's not fit to drive. Obviously, she's going into surgery today, but thankfully just alive. And uh, she seems wow. to be one of those types that's quick to Twitter to let everyone know she's okay. Hopefully she is to get back on the road. But... Take your time, recover, yeah, wow. and get, get everything back in order. Wow. I know I'd be scared to get back in the car. No, no kidding. Sure.